in this video, I'm going to tell you some secrets about the 3D printer bed. And if you're in the market for an upgrade, stay to the end. I'm going to tell you about my experience. And I think I have some tips that can help you out. Now, first thing first, this is just my experience and my opinion. Please do your own research. Let's get into it. First, I want to talk about the PEI bed. This bed is awesome. It's probably the best. This is my favorite so far. And let me tell you what I love about it. First, you get that self release. So when the bed is heated, the print sticks to it perfectly. Now, the way the print sticks to this bed, it's amazing. I love it. Now, after it cools down, you can easily remove the print. No problem. Also, you get that bendability, so it's bendable. In case you have one of those large, flat prints, you can bend the bed to take it off. So, sounds good, right? Well, here's what I don't like about it. It comes with this magnet sheet. And as you remove the bed, you see like first, if you put it back, like you see like the way it sticks, you cannot easily align it well. So to get the alignment right, it is kind of annoying a little bit, but you can get it right. It's not a big deal. But also when you remove the bed and putting it back, you're kind of pulling on the hot bed and could mess up the leveling, could mess up the alignment. So I've realized that I am uh, re-leveling and realigning the bed more frequent because of this. Now, I have a CR touch. I have the strong pads. So if you have the weak springs and you don't have a CR touch, this might be a trouble. Now, I'm not sure if this is a bad practice or anything, but now I know what I know. I would not recommend installing the magnet sheet. I would use this bed with the clips, the original clips. Remember these? They come with your original bed. I would recommend using this bed with these clips. Again, this is just my opinion. I'm not sure if this is bad practice or anything. Look it up. But now I know what I know. I would not have installed the magnet sheet. I would just use this with the clip. See, right away, it's just like it gets stuck in here and you have to pull it up again and you end up like really messing up the leveling of the bed when you do it um, frequently. So let's talk about the next bed here, which is the default bed. See, this guy is awesome. I love it. It's bendable. Now, it's not as easy to clean. However, it comes with your printer, so it is free. And it is easy to damage when the nozzle come close or especially if the nozzle is heated and it bumped into it, you can easily damage this bed. So that's what I don't like about it. I love that it's bendable. And yeah, I don't want the magnet. See how easy that is to align? I can easily align it, use the clips. I love those better. So, so far so good. This one is a little bit cheaper. The PEI bed is a little bit more expensive, but it's very durable. Love the material, the way the print sticks to it, worth the money in my opinion. The third bed that I've been experimenting with is the glass bed. And this might not be your best option. It is very easy to scratch. That is my fault. I scratched my bed because I set up the nozzle too close and then I just did not do it right and that was my fault. But it is easy to scratch and also it's not that great when you want your print to stick to it, especially when you have some of those smaller prints with smaller surface, contact surface. Sometimes the print sticks to it really well, but it's harder to remove later, especially if it's like a larger print and it's like a low profile. That's very hard to remove sometimes. Now it's supposed to self-release. So as the bed heat it, then you print. And then when it cools down, the print's supposed to self-release. It happens, but sometimes once in a while you have a print that gets stuck on it. And I really hate those and it doesn't bend. So that's another problem. You cannot bend, you cannot take off the bed, bend it to remove the print. So 
it is an upgrade from the default i would say it's kind of debatable on what type of print you are printing but definitely if you are buying a new bed i highly recommend the pei bed i do have on my channel a, an installation uh, for i have an installation video for the pei bed and to show you the steps on how to do it once again in my opinion skip the magnet sheet use the clips now uh i also have a video showing you how to clean the glass bed and again lucky for me the leveling and the alignment is not a big deal because i have those strong pads and i have a cr touch but if you don't have those then i would be careful uh that's you know my opinion and hopefully if you are in the market for a new 3d printer bed i hope i was able to help let me know if you have any questions this is it for this video thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one